Hey everybody. Well, uh, when I made that first video about Hunt the Truth, I was too busy, uh, you know, focusing on who was behind it, you know, talking about Mark Sargent and all that, and I completely missed what it was about. And right now, you see, I'm standing right where I was when I recorded this. But, I was only a few steps away, just a few steps behind the, the answer. Episode 1 of Hunt the Truth was called A Hairline Fracture. So, five days after that, we had the Nepal earthquake. A hairline fracture is a fault line. See what I'm saying? This is not just about flat earth. This is about all the truth. But, I'll tie this back to flat earth. So, uh, let me step back over here. Let me do my little bootleg uh, smartphone thingy. Uh, I can't seem to turn my light off. Is this just another coincidence that Halo Hunt the Truth, Episode 1, A Hairline Fracture, came out days before this? Or the San Andreas trailer, or German Wings, and on and on of this game should I even mention that the Halo 5 trailer also shows the main characters laying in what appears to be earthquake rubble in a daze trying to figure out what happened a hairline fracture equals a fault line damn you Microsoft and I mean that damn you guys so We'll go down, and last the posts, a, a couple, you know, I think some decent clues, you know, when I talked about Key and Locke, Key and Michael Key and the new character named Locke, Key goes into a lock, but he also mentions gates and windows, so I don't know, maybe we're getting a little close there. So then, I started get digging into the numbers. This really isn't my thing, but, uh, let's have a little fun right here with it. Ha ha, you want, you want fun with numbers to our hairline fracture? They say the main character's file says he dies in 2517. The first quake, we're talking about Nepal again, happened on the 25th of April. And the second big one, 17 days later. The two big quakes registered at 7.8 and 7.3. 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 3 equals 25. Remember how I've been telling you guys about the 2 and the 5. The 2 and the 5 are a common theme. The game, of course, takes place in 2552. 2 plus 5 and 5 plus 2 equals 77. Take the quakes again, 7.8, which would be 7 times 8 equals 56, and 7.3, 7 times 3 equals 21. Add those together, and we've got another 77. We just keep getting 77, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7 with Halo. I'm not a big numerology guy. Uh, back up, damn it. I'm not a big numer numerology guy, but I could go on for days with this game and this quake. Are these Hunt the Truth episodes not just predictive programming, but predictable programming. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I really laugh.
like that. Okay, let's this is. I'm not that big on numerology either, but that was neat. And here's where I get you guys back down to flat earth. Now, is this neat? Nepal is an anagram. Nepal equals plane. The earth is a plane. Plus, you got 9-11 in planes and stuff like that. But I think this has more to do with the earth and the plane. Just just look at the number, or look at the letters, man. It, it, it's an anagram for plane. So... Basically, what I was saying again is we're not that far from the truth. We're just a couple steps behind, and we're catching up. We're catching up to that truth right there. That was episode one. I should have checked out episode two. Maybe I'd have predicted something else, or maybe I already predicted something else. Like the Amtrak derailment. And I will post a video on that in the future where I predicted a big uh, derailment. Later, everybody. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this isn't the, uh, the other, you know, the Halo clues that I promised. Because I've got a bunch more. This is just stuff that popped in my mind last night. So, have fun with this one. I'm telling you, man, there's something behind this. Something behind this, yeah, this game and the truth. And if you dig through the puzzle, you might be able to predict an event. Later, everybody. Peace.